Hi friends, welcome back to Laravel A tutorial. In this video, we will learn about how to import data into Laravel database using Excel or CSV file. So this is my Laravel application and this is my Laravel database, database Laravel 8 and here I have some records already that is in students table. So first go to operation and truncate the result. Okay. So now we can see the student table have no records and I am going to import two files that is student excel and student csv so we will import step by step there are many packages in laravel to export or import csv or excel files so here I will use mat website packages for excel csv operation ok so let's install laravel mat website package ok so just open the terminal and we need to install the mat website so composer require and after that the mat website and then slash and excel okay and just enter this so the mat website is going to install in your application so you can see the person that is 3.1 is using that is the mat website latest version and you can see the composer.json has been updated and it's updating all the dependencies related to mat website so installation process done and we can see the package manifest generated successfully and now we need to configure in our application so just go to the config and inside the config we have app.php so just open it and we need to register excel in this app.php so here we can see the provider array and we need to register our excel in this provider and there is another that is lss array we will register our provider in lss array and here we will create a lis name and using this lis name we will call from our application so first we need to register our package in provider array so just use mat website and after that slash and then excel and then slash and after that we will use excel service provider and then colon colon and the class so our package is registered in the provider array and now we need to register our package in lss array so just go to the lss array and here i am writing the excel so when we will use in our project we will call using the name excel so here we write the mat website and after that slash excel and slash facets fsc des assets and after that excel and then colon colon so class name so our configuration is done and now i need to publish the configuration so very simple so just open the terminal and use php artisan and the vendor colon and we need to publish so we'll write the publish and after that hyphen provider and our path of the provider so we'll just copy path from here so that is mat website excel excel service provider so just use it so paste it here okay so just enter this sorry we should not have any space between the equal to and the path so just enter this so here we can see the publishing is complete so now our package is installed successfully so this is my route that is web.php and this is a student controller and there is a student model that is the student model so here we will use student model to import file to the database okay so first we need to create 
a import class so to create import class we want to use php artisan make import okay so here i'm importing the student model and this is the table name that is students so i am providing a name that is student import okay and my model name is student okay so just provide the model name so here model and after that the name of the model that is student s t u t e n t okay so just enter so here we can see import created successfully so just go to the directory and refresh so here we will get a folder in the app directory so in the app directory we have the student import.php okay so just we need to use the student model here so we, we need to provide the proper path that is app models and the name of the model that is students now inside the array we will pass our file column so here my column name is name and email so just write here that is name and here so we will use the dollar row so here the name will be dollar row and name and i am taking the email so here the email is dollar row email okay so email so our student import class is ready so i am using the mat website so we are using the mat website excel concern 2 model and i am using also headings so just use mat website excel concerns and with a heading row okay so i will use this and just pass this here so comma with heading row okay so now go to the student model so inside the student model we will just use protected and free level and the free level will be the name and email okay so our model is ready so now go to the student controller so here is my student controller so first we need to create a from where we can upload any files so first create a function that is public function import upload from okay and return view suppose i am taking my view name is import from okay import from so now we need to create this import from so just go to the views so here is my views and inside the view just create a new file that is import from dot blade dot php okay so use the html5 elements and suppose i am taking the title that is import file okay and i am creating a basic form with no design so so use the from tag and i'm closing the from tag and here i will provide the action so here will be the action name and i will pass the method name so here is my method name i will provide the method name is post and for file upload we need to use enc type so just use the enc type multiplied from data okay and for laravel we need to use csrf token okay so basically csrf token will create a hidden field and it will generate a unique token okay so now create a input field so here i type will be file okay and just providing a name that is any name suppose file and here 
I am creating the button that is input type suppose submit okay and value that is suppose upload and I'm providing the name that is submit okay so that's it so now we need to call this import upload from from the route so go to the route and create another route so i am taking the now so i am creating the name that is import from okay and and my method name is import upload from so here i am using the import upload from so if you go to the import from we will get the forms okay so let's check so before that we need to run the server php artisan serve okay so now go to the browser and input from so here we can see the input from so we can browse and we can upload using this button okay so now to save we need to create another function so just go to the student controller and create another function that is public function import from okay and here i am using the request as uh, the dollar request okay and here we need to use the excel and here is the excel class so which we used as allies of mat website okay so you can see this so just go to the controller and use the import method okay and we need to call the import class so just write the new and the class name is student import okay so write it here student import and after that we will use the request and this is the name of the file so here the name is file so request file okay and just to return a statement so while it will import it so just return records are imported that's it okay and just call this method from web.php so create another route so this will be the post and here i am using the import from so this is the import from oh i am taking the same url so this is for gate and this for post so no problem will be that so this is the import from and i am providing the name of this route suppose the name is import dot file okay so use this route inside the action so just use in curly braces route and provide the name of the route so that is import route so now just refresh this again and browse your file so first i will import the dot csv file so click on browse and this is the student csv.csv so just use this and click on upload so okay we need to use the student import method from the student controller so in student controller just write use app imports so name of the class is student import so here just use the student import okay and now refresh this and click on the browse and student csv dot csv so just upload it so you can see the records are imported so just go to the database and refresh this so we can see our records is added in the database so there are 200 records is just imported within a second okay so now truncate this table again and we will upload the excel file okay so now you can see the student table again is empty so just go to the url 
and now we will import the excel file so just use this and click on upload so here we can see the records are imported and just refresh this so we'll see the all records are imported so that's all about laravel excel and csv import please comment your queries and give feedback about this tutorial next day we will discuss about laravel localization please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye.